when uh, the new Attorney General Eric Holder released uh, former Senator, Alaska Senator Ted Stevens on very simple violation that his prosecutor had made, Brady violations, where the 1963, they call this the Brady thing, where Brady violation, where the prosecutor in former Senator Stevens, well then Senator Stevens' case, uh, withheld information from the defense, from Senator Stevens, that would show his innocence, that would tend to show his innocence uh, in this case. When Eric Holder saw this, he threw the whole case out. Well, Momia has got Brady violations. God, I could go on. I mean, we don't have time for me to go into the Brady violations that, that, he, that he got. I'll just mention one, the really, really key Brady violation that Momia suffered at this trial. When uh, Officer Faulkner pulled over his brother, Billy Cook, in this VW, uh, VW that was driven by Billy Cook, and with, it, and with it sitting in their passenger seat, Kenneth Freeman, his street vendor partner, those two are in the car, and um, Billy Cook has a driver's license, and they, uh, but Freeman gets out first, and Faulkner takes Freeman's license, takes his, he's asking for ID, and he takes a driver's license, driver's license application that doesn't have a picture on it, it's an application for one, and he puts it, Faulkner puts it in his pocket. He's going to go back to his car eventually and call this in, check this guy out. But he doesn't quite get back there. Billy gets out of the car, and they get into some, Faulkner, I mean, uh, Freeman gets back in his car. Billy gets out. You know, cops don't want two guys out at once. So he gets Freeman back in. Then he gets Billy out. And Billy and he have a confrontation. He starts hitting Billy with an 18-inch flashlight against the head. Well, Mia sees this. He runs over, and Faulkner... I think, without hardly any doubt at all, Faulkner shoots Mumia in the chest and he collapses at the street. Freeman gets out of the car, uh, wrestles with Faulkner. Faulkner hits him first. They wrestle. They go to the ground. Freeman wins the fight. Faulkner's now dead. Police come and get Faulkner. At the hospital, they find in his shirt pocket this driver's application. They send immediately to the house, this, this application had the name Arnold, uh, Arnold Howard on it, a friend of Freeman's. So they get Howard, they roust him out before dawn. I mean, this thing went on at, you know, in the early hours of the morning. Before dawn, they bring Howard in uh, for questioning, and he says, I gave this, yeah, that's mine, I gave it to Kenny Freeman, my friend. He didn't have one. Uh, and so they go get Freeman. They go roust him out, and they bring him in. But Freeman, I mean, here we've got, here we've got the m most likely suspect that they'll ever have in this case. They don't even, he doesn't even have to call a lawyer to get out. Freeman's released that, you know, within hours, he's gone. They put him in a couple of lineups. One of the key witnesses at the trial picks him out twice. This, this, the prostitute that they used to convict Mumia, she picks this guy out twice out of the lineup. This is what Freeman told people afterwards. Uh, according to Arnold Howard, who testified at the post-conviction hearings in 1995. He described all this stuff. I mean, he's down there at the police station. His friend, Kenneth Freeman, is down there because he said, I gave this to Freeman. So when the prosecution turns over the information, the discovery information to the defense, they turned over this driver's license, but they led him to believe it was just in the car. So you wouldn't really think anything about it in a car. That's where it would be. They didn't say it's in the dead officer's shirt pocket. So it's, had that been known, I mean, the defense at trial, Mumia's defense at trial, could have mounted a whole different thing. They would have had to explain this. And then they could have gone back and they'd had a brain, Mumia's defense I'm speaking of, they had a brain, and read the transcript from when Billy Cook was tried for assault. The number one witness against Mumia, this prostitute, Cynthia White, she said, during, during Billy's assault trial, that Officer Faulkner approached the car on the passenger side, the passenger got out. And the prosecutor said, the passenger? She said, the passenger. Okay. So all we had to do, all the all Mumia's defense would have had to done, and it would have been a lot more motivated to do stuff if it had a reason to do it. Here's a driver's license application in the officer's, dead officer's pocket, and here's it. The, their key witness under oath saying in a trial transcript which you can read and I have in my house uh, the passenger got out 
So it would have been a whole new trial for Mumia right then and there. Because the whole theory of that case was um, it was just Faulkner, Billy Cook, and Mumia there, only three people. 